Hello, everybody, and welcome to the 2020 Game Club Awards. Uh, my name is Brandon, and uh, I am the host of the Jump Up Supercast Game Club. And joining me today, I have, as always, Ills. Hello, and welcome to another fabulous night of the Game Club. And joining me today, All right, and I got Noah. Giving out awards, baby. We are. Who's going to take home the gold? <laughs> we are giving out awards. Um, I couldn't update the stream information for some reason because it's not letting me. Hold on. Let me see if I can do that because I don't think we're playing Mario Galaxy right now. That's probably what it says. Um, maybe. It says in the it says uh, resolution stream. Use, yeah. Oh. Use resolution. Okay. So that was the last <laughs> thing we did. Well, at least I don't have to update the category uh, so I can just <laughs> update the title of the stream. Uh, so let me do that real quick. Sorry. Hello, everybody. I should have done this before, but again, I, I for some reason, it wouldn't let me do that. Uh, how are we doing today? Uh, before we get into the um, awards. I'm so jazzed up right now. <laughs> uh, you should be. This was your idea. You came up with this. Yeah. Yeah, well, it doesn't mean I think it's a good idea. <laughs> wow. Okay, well. You, it's, if it goes bad, it's your fault because you came up with it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> what? That's not how that works. It, it is. It is. Uh, but welcome. Hopefully the stream's going well. Um, see, right, if you're looking at the stream right now, uh, we got a little uh, golden Michelangelo right there. Uh, that is what we will give to the first place uh, winner of every award. We will, we will yeah. hand it You're to You're going to send it to the developers of each of these games. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yes. Um, and send them a golden mic. <laughs> we will send them golden Michelangelo trophy. We all know it's foil. This is Kevin. Well, Shut up, Kevin. Don't tell, don't tell them that. <laughs> um, but they, they should appreciate it, though, because we played a lot of games this year and uh, on the game club, and we're going to look back at some of those games, look back at some of the good times, look back at some of the bad times. And award. We did it for the culture. Mm. We did. We did it for the culture. Mm. We did it for the, the people. We did it for ourselves. Um, so the awards that were that were given out, different categories, um, but they're not um, your typical award show categories because that's boring. Mm. And also, it doesn't. A lot of them wouldn't work very well uh, based on the game club. Uh, because with the game club, we have you know, not really any rules in terms of uh, what time frame you, we have to play these games, uh, or what what time uh, what time these games came out. You know, um, we can play games uh, from the 1980s, uh, 19 hell 1970s, all the way till today. <laughs> you know, any game. So if you if you think about a normal award show, you know, you think about like. Best graphics. We can't really give out best graphics because uh, it's not really fair. Uh, so, mm. you know, that's also, also again, like I said, boring. So we made up, uh, and by we, I mean Ills, uh, made up a yeah. bunch of categories. So <laughs> thank you, Ills. And also all the nominees. Ills, you did a great job on this. Because um, uh. mm. I, I was drawing a blank. I tried to contribute, but I couldn't really think of shit. So. Yeah, I mean... So, uh, well, it's actually, some really good categories and good nominees for it. <laughs> so I couldn't come up with something to contribute either. <laughs> next year, it's all on you. <laughs> oh, fuck. Well, if we survive till next year, we have a lot Oof. of games to play. Uh, tell us our audio levels. Can you hear everybody, by the way, chat, Kevin, specifically? Because I know you'll answer. <laughs> can you hear everybody? Tell us. Yeah. Okay, good. Good. Glad to hear it. All right, so we want to, you guys want to start on the first award? Absolutely. There's nothing more it. I would ever want in my life. Okay, well, we will start on the first uh, Game Club Award of the Year 2020. Uh, the most useless or pointless thing in a Game Club game that we played. Um, and the nominees are The Revolver from John Wick, uh, Richter's <laughs> Backflip in Rondo of Blood, the Sword Beam in Zelda 2, Pyramid Head Sword in Silent Hill 2, all of the combat sequences in Fox Hunt, and the Rolling Slash Crawling in Jeff Force Gemini. 
Uh, so truly a strong category. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> so many good choices here. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of useless shit um, in this category. So the way we're going to do this is we're just going to basically just rank them. So um, we're going to just go with first place. Do you want to start with first place first or should we work our way backwards? I think it might be easier to get off first place first, but... First place first, and then we'll work down from there. Yeah, because mm -hmm. I think it would be harder to, to do it backwards, honestly. Yeah. Um, so first place, uh, what are you thinking? Because, um, man, all 100 percent, I choose the sword beam from Zelda two. Really? That's this this is the dumbest shit. <laughs> it pro probably in the whole game. You fucking. You, you only rarely have full lives in this game because you can get hit so easily, so quickly. Everything has, like, a longer range than you. The one time you have some range, when you have full health, it's useless against anything that isn't a blob. Yeah. Everything what blocks it. What the fuck it. is the point true. of this? <laughs> Everything yeah. blocks it. Yeah, that's true. Like, it doesn't even... It, it hurts nobody. <laughs> like, how does this help you? And it even has shitty range. My god. Yeah. yeah, and it's supposed to be... Like, in Zelda 1, the sword beam was amazing. The sword beam True. helped you in it so many the whole situations. Well. Yeah. You felt you felt so powerful. You were sad when you got hit in Zelda 1 because you're like, shit, I lost the sword beam. Zelda 2, it doesn't fucking mm -hmm. matter. It definitely doesn't. Couldn't even... Fucking only little fucking blobs. Like the first enemies you encounter <laughs> in the game. Yeah. The, they the, never the, come back... You never fight them at the end of the game. No. no. What What the fuck? It's completely useless. Um, well, is that, uh, no, you thought you were surprised by it. Why did you think yeah. there, was, there was something else you were thinking? I was thinking of uh, the rolling and crawling mechanic in Jet Force Gemini. Because it literally... It, you never use it. There's only like one segment in the game where you have to crawl to crawl through a tunnel, whatever. Or maybe a few instances, but that's it. And, like, the actual using it to dodge does not work completely. It looks stupid. It's slow as fuck. There's no reason dodge. why you should use it at all, in general. So, like, the sword beam, at least I thought, like, it's the one of the biggest parts of the sword beam is that it's never available to you because you always get hit, which is stupid as fuck. But this one's just always there, but you... Literally have no reason to fucking use it at all, ever. <laughs> I think the thing that makes the sword beam so bad for me is that it should be, like, you, you should feel happy to be at full lives. You should, there should be a reward for that, yeah. to stay healthy. Yeah. And it's, it's worthless. It's, it's nothing. Yeah, it's almost an insult. Mm -hmm. Which I think uh, makes me agree with Ills. That, because it's like an, it's almost insulting to you, so it's like, wow. Fuck you, game. You, you're gonna give me this, and it's just a fucking. And you time. need, you desperately need some, some fucking help in that game. Yeah, you do. Like you, you'll take anything you can get at that point. Because that game's so ridiculously difficult at the end of that game. Especially. Yeah. It's so dumb. Um, yeah, I'm okay with that. I'm putting Sword Beam at first place. Okay. Wow, congrats to, to Zelda Two. Congrats, Zelda Two. <laughs> Nintendo, we will send you your award in the mail. <laughs> Who would have thought Nintendo would get an award for the most pointless or useless thing in a video game for 2020? I feel like this is the one they were waiting out for. You know, they, they don't give a shit about the game awards, about Jeff Keighley. That's they true. got the Sword Beam Award. They, they did, <laughs> they did. The most, most useless. Most useless thing in a video game. Congratulations, Nintendo. Um, so, second place. Um, would you think it would be the... Uh, the rolling and crawling, or because um, there's a lot of useless things here. Uh, yeah. Obviously. The there's revolver like, and John Wick. Yeah. Piece of. Fucking it's shit. like you. It's fucking useless as a weapon, like a gun, compared to every other single gun in the game. But it still has uses where you can throw it at an enemy to stun them momentarily. So it has a little tiny bit of use, I guess even though it's the worst fucking gun in the whole game. It's almost like a trap. Like, if yeah. you try to use it, you will die. Like, yeah. Do not use this. You think it's good, too, because you're like, oh, a revolver, yeah. yeah. Literally, the handgun is better. Yes. <laughs> it's more bullets, and it's faster. 
That's all you need. Yeah. <laughs> and you need speed is very important in John Yes, Wick. the time management is the most important thing of that game. Yeah. Yeah. It's the slowest fucking gun in the fucking game. Your uh, screen is not uh, updating with the. Uh, oh yeah, you didn't put the. Oh, is it not uh, showing? I wrote the... it in, but. Oh, you wrote it in. Yeah, it's not. Oh, uh, hold on. Yeah. Uh, it, the background might disappear for one second, but. <laughs> Oh, right, I'll go on Let talking about the other the nominations Let me refresh the page. Yeah. Oh, okay. So the stream's gonna refresh. Just... Yeah, 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 yeah. Hold on, guys. Technical difficulty. There we go. There it is. I don't know why you got. I took out the fourth place. Oh, okay. That's why I got smaller. Okay. Where? Cool, cool, cool. Okay, here we go. Background. Beautiful background. Coming back in a second. There it is. <laughs> All right. Let me get this white bar. I gotta fix this. Hold on. It's gonna drive me nuts. Uh, I'll, in the meantime, I'll talk about Richter's backflip, and yeah, it's it's supposed to be used as a, like a dodging mechanic, but it's not that reliable. Um, I mean, I barely fucking used it, but I mostly actually I the times I used it was by accident. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> sometimes it worked, so, but you, but some also sometimes I fell to my death in the pit on my own. So uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, I think there was only one boss where you really used it, and it was when you fought Shaft the second time. Mm -hmm. That's it. That's the one usage in the whole game. Mm -hmm. Like, the rest of it oh, is yeah. garbage. Yep. Mm -hmm. um, pyramid Head Sword. Uh, completely it's fucking cool as fuck to try and use. It's strong, but good luck fucking hitting anything with it. You might, at that point, you have a fucking shotgun or a gun, rifle, so there's no point fucking using the sword. Yeah, it's like theoretically strong, because yeah. how the fuck would you know? You can't hit anything, ever. Yeah. And you'll also lose almost, like, almost all your life trying to swing that fucking sword, because they'll, you get hit multiple times before you get to hit anything with it. <laughs> so garbage. Yeah. Uh, oh my god. And Fox and of Hunt. course, our favorite game of all time, Fox yes. Hunt. <laughs> all the combat sequences. Because you know how you beat that game? You just fucking button mash. Yep. Nothing matters. Don't even try to follow the action. I think the just most insulting mash. part of that is that the game makes you think it matters. It doesn't explain yeah. that it doesn't matter at any point. So you're, you're left sitting there thinking... That, oh, I have to wait at, to, at a certain point to press the press the certain button. Mm. Uh, but no, it doesn't matter. It's a lie. It, yeah, it's all a lie. Especially at the end when you're fighting those fucking three guys and you're thinking to yourself, well, I gotta do something in, in like a correct order. It's impossible. Something. I don't understand how... Yeah. You have to, but you have to. You can't possibly, like, dodge when they want you to dodge. There's no way. Well, I feel like in the beginning it was a lot more uh, forgiving with the timing, but especially in the later half, it's just like... That's no. how they get you, Noah. Yeah. That's how they I get know. you. <laughs> yeah, it's all a trick. It's, I feel like that's a... Yeah. <laughs> it's... All, all those scenes are just so dumb, because there's no actual... There are parts in the game that actually have interactivity, right? Because there's the mm -hmm. parts where you're searching around. Plenty, yeah. And there's... The, the parts where you're like the stupid wheelchair part where you're actually press left and right to fucking choose yeah. where to go, right? Oh god. <laughs> and that actually like has some sort of bearing on on bu pressing mm. a button. But the fucking fight sequences, you just press like X and that's it. Yeah, you just smash. Yeah, you have to yeah just press it before they get to press anything theoretically. It's so it's really shit. Um, so what do you think second place should be? I'm leaning okay. towards Revolver, but Fox Hunt is a strong contender. <laughs> Noah? I'm still rolling for the Jet Force Gemini rolling and dodging mechanic. Crawling. No, I, I think that's okay. I think that's good. Rolling, crawling, who gives a shit? <laughs> Literally, how are you supposed to dodge anything? No. You can't. There's never, ever <laughs> a use for thing. That, that was the whole point of adding the rolling was so you could dodge, but it never works. Literally. No, yeah. So. Everything, ar everything around you in that game moves way too fast for you to mm -hmm. fucking try to dodge by slow ass roll. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's really just shoot or be shot. Uh, you just have to shoot. You, there's no, there's really no way to dodge shit in that. You just have to shoot faster than your opponent, and hopefully you kill them before they kill you. 
Like the only only idea of, of dodging is like in that game is like going like behind something. Mm -hmm. That's about it. Uh, so that's fine. That's fine. We'll put that at number two. Congrats to Rare. <laughs> Gets the silver. All right, number in like third winning, place. Winning the silver medal at the Olympics. Third place. Third place. Um... Probably. Uh... All right, it's got to be Fox Hunt. Yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. I, I was... wonder if we... I was thinking of putting the Fox Hunt one in the Who Cares section because it's too I offensive kind of like to say it's... Who Cares to it, though. Yeah. No. Well, I mean, in the sense that. Who cares that you're missing out, like, on the cutscenes? Like, it's pointless kind of thing. But yeah. I get, I get that. Oh, man. Yeah, maybe the revolver should go here. Because it's just so actively bad. It, it like, gives you hope. Right. The revolver. And sometimes that's the only weapon you can have. So, you, man, you're just fucked. You just have to throw it. Yep. So stupid. Oh, I hate the revolver so much. <laughs> I'm good to give it to the revolver. Okay. Wow. Congrats, John Wick. Congrats, John Wick. Congrats to the finally, developers. Finally found the worst uh, weapon to kill someone than a pencil. <laughs> the yeah, pencil would have like, been better. Yeah. <laughs> I don't remember who developed that game, so sorry. But you get the bronze. <laughs> Uh, okay, and uh, who cares? I guess we're giving that to Fox Hunt. Fox Hunt it has to be Fox Hunt. Yeah. Go for and, Fox uh, Hunt. And the then... dishonorable mention. So this is like uh, Eels, yeah. Uh, the way Eels tried to explain it to me, uh, it's the best of the worst. So like, yeah. <laughs> for um, this one. For this one. Probably. Um... Richter's backflip. Yeah, I was yeah, I was gonna say the backflip. Yeah, Richter's backflip. It's yeah. the only choice, really. The yeah. sword you don't even have to pick up. Mm. Yeah. Richter's backflip you're stuck with. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. And it's actually useful at one fight. Yeah. True. It is. So there you have it. That's our first category, the most useless, pointless thing in a, in a game yeah. club game. Congratulations again to Zelda 2 for taking home first place in that category. <laughs> they really knocked it out of the park. <laughs> All right, though, well, let's go down to our next category, which I is... I think the background, uh, the video background... Oh, it did, because uh, it... Yeah. I have it was... to... It stops when I, when I fucking switch over to... I have to switch back over to the stupid thing to show uh, okay. an update. Yeah, so I'm going to have to keep switching back and forth. It's really... Oh, easy. okay. I thought it was just for y'all or something. No, it's not. It'll come back in a second. Right. Yay. There it is. All, All right. right. Uh, no, bet next category. Let me see if I can get this fitting in here. Uh, best yeah. pet slash companion in a game club game. Oh, come on, get There we go. Yay. All uh, right. So the best, best pet or companion. This is actually an exciting one. This is a way more <laughs> It's way not more a exciting. negative one. These are actually yeah, good, it's good pals. It's a little positive. Good pals. Yeah. Uh, so, we have, these are the, uh, nominees. We have Boney from Mother 3, Huey from Haunting Ground, uh, two dogs in a row, Chomp from Monster Tail, Laylee from Ukulele, in the Impossible Lair, to be specific, uh, the dog and the dog ending in Silent Hill 2, so three dogs so far, Lupus from Jeff Wars Gemini, there's four dogs, uh, is it Taraco, Terrico? I think it's Terrico. Terrico, right? I think. Terrico. <laughs> the little robot from uh, Hyrule Warriors, Age of Calamity. Yeah. And uh, Dog Meat from Fallout. Uh, that's another dog. There's a lot of dogs in the best companion here. They gave us a lot of dogs in the games this yeah. year. Lots of dogs What's in What's a better companion than a dog? Let me tell you right now. A cat. Yes. <laughs> I mean, yeah. That's a good if there was a cat, <laughs> If there was a cat, it would win. Um, oh, freaking. Oh, no, not really a companion. Never mind. Uh, I will say that, um, that we did play a game where you are a cat. Um, yeah, a ghost trick. But out of all all, the, all these categories and all the dogs here... Missile! You you can't... Well, that was last year. <laughs> that was last year. Oh, yeah, that's right. You can't pet any of these dogs. I just want to say that. So all these you games can pet suck. Huey. 
Oh, you can pet Huey. You're right. I forgot you can yes. do that. Oh, you kind of have to. It's like a game mechanic, actually. Yeah. Well, you don't have to, but it helps well, yeah. a lot. Well, yeah. I mean, you can get a bad <laughs> ending if you don't. Well, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Well, you actually have to work really hard. You have to no, be a yeah, real you... piece of shit to Huey to be able to get that bad, get ending. bad ending. And let me tell you right now, if you actually played through that game and you got that ending just, like, without trying, you're a fucking piece of shit. Yeah, mm -hmm. you deserve it. Yeah, you absolutely deserve that bad ending in Haunting Ground. Uh, so, best best pet. Man, a lot of good ones in here. Mm. Yeah, um, I mean... So this category for this one, dishonorable mentions, actually going to go to the worst dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, or well, I think not necessarily that, a dog. Should we but... start with that one? Do we start with the dishonorable mention this time? Uh, no, we'll start with first okay. place. Um, first place though. I'm kind of torn between two. I'm torn between actually. Hmm, no, I'm torn between two. It's between Boney and Huey for me. Yeah, for me it's Huey. I think I I like yeah, Boney a whole Huey's, lot, but yeah. Boney's not as useful as Huey is. No, Huey is definitely much more useful. Yeah, Boney is Huey... like I feel Boney. I see as like he didn't really have any like negative points towards him. He was just there and he was always a good boy. Well, Huey sometimes he ate some... your fucking items. That's why. Oh, I forgot about that. <laughs> Shit. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now I have no problem going with Huey anymore. <laughs> Because Huey did have like some frustrating points where he would like you have to make him obey you, but I definitely had more of a close connection to Huey than I did with Boney. But Boney well, let had me uh, talk to you about dog meat. <laughs> Fallout. He can knock <laughs> over people way bigger than him. Yes. If you keep him alive, he will knock down basically anyone. But he also the, the, goes in front of enemies when you don't want yeah, him to. Yeah. The problem very... is keeping him alive. Yeah, yes. keeping dog meat alive is a real pain in the fucking ass. And, and gets in the way. As does every fucking uh, companion in that goddamn game. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the only uh, one in this game who can get destroyed, like, die horribly. Yeah, out of this entire category. Yeah. Yes. yeah. <laughs> get shred the pieces. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, I mean, I don't think any of us beat the game with dog meat alive, right? I got real close. It's, I think it's impossible. <laughs> no, <laughs> I got it's super not. close, but he's, yeah. He died. R.I.P. Dog meat. Oh. What do you got? He was the best, what he was named the best friend uh, <laughs> an irradiated savage could have in the wasteland. You know what? Dog meat. I gotta say, you're better off being dead in that world. So, you're, yeah. you're in doggy heaven now. You don't want to be alive in, in the Fallout universe. It only gets worse from there. Um, I'm okay with uh, Huey being number one, though. Huey! Yeah, he's earned it. Yeah. Congrats uh, to the Capcom. Congratulations, Capcom. You won Best Companion and Pet or Pet in a Game Club game of 2020. You, you, your uh, reward will be in the mail. Um, so, second place. Um, I don't know, Boney. Leaning maybe? towards Bo Boney. Mm. I mean, he, he's. I feel like he's the strongest because he is like, even though he sometimes messes you up in in battle, he's always in your party when you're Lucas, and mm. he's the, always the fastest to go. True. Uh huh. So that's always good. Yeah. I'm okay with giving second place to Boney. Yeah. My contention, I guess, the closest after that would maybe be Laylee or Lupus. Mm -hmm. Lupus because he has the fucking, he can actually float. He's yeah. Hover. <laughs> and and so a, he's like a, the best character in the game. Yeah, and it's a dog. He is the best character in the game. It's a dog who shoots guns, too. I mean, that's fun. And he, <laughs> and he turns into like a tank. Which yeah. is also fun. And, and Laylee, you need her to live. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I she hate, I, like, I had a love hate relationship with Laylee because she fucking is so annoying when she gets hit. She just flies all over the place. Yeah. Avoids you. Actively avoids you sometimes. This is true. This is true. <laughs> yeah. yeah. yeah Laylee, okay. you're terrible. <laughs> so, uh, second place, second place, Boney. Uh, and I, yeah, I think third place, I think I would agree for, Give it to Lupus. For Lupus. Yeah. 
Big bony, second place. Can't believe Nintendo gets another win. Yeah. All right, and uh, and who cares? Are we doing third place, Lupus? Yeah, third place. I yeah, I'll I'm give that to that. Lupus. Yeah. Fair enough. Jeff Force Gemini not doing too bad. Already taken Either. home two awards. Like holy fuck. <laughs> All right, in the who cares category, uh, I'm thinking Terrico from Hyrule Warriors. Um, yeah, or Chomp. Or Chomp is a strong contender. Yeah, yeah, either one of those. But my thing with Terrico is I wanted to... I thought when I first saw Terrico that I was like, man, I bet I'm going to fall in love with this little thing. And then I just didn't care. It was just yeah. there. Yeah. yeah, it had no fucking role. Yeah. Like in... Uh, until the great I mean, majority of the cutscenes. Yeah. In the cutscenes, yeah. I mean, he, until the stories, he had played an important role, apparently. You do get but... to play as him later, but you have to do a bunch... After, That's it's post-game, game game too. And... Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, yeah it's fuck Terrico. Yeah. yeah. Good. It's a good fit. So who would be the dishonorable mention? I kind of want to give dishonorable mention to Dog Me because he gets in the way. He did so good. Yeah. <laughs> Piss me off. He just got in the way. He's <laughs> doing his best. Kevin said my friend cried when she had to do that thing to Terrico. Huh? Oh, at the oh, end of the game? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. yeah. Sorry, Terrico. Sorry. Sorry, Terrico. Who, who cares? Listen, yeah. <laughs> dog meat is a fucking powerhouse at the beginning of the game. Yes. He's really, he's, really good. He's very good. Okay. Uh. Alright. Then... I'm I mean, gonna go with either, Chomp. Either Chomp or the dog in Silent Hill 2. <laughs> I mean, yeah. The I mean, dog's a bad it's guy. It's not really a. Com not, yeah, yeah. The dog the is dog great. Dog ending. It's, it's good, but it's like. It's like. Is he really a companion? He's just there. <laughs> he would be an I mean, this is kind of a joke entry, yeah. at least. <laughs> yeah. But the dog it's, is uh, also behind me, the whole chomp. thing. The dog is. Yeah, the, is Chomp. A, I felt Chomp should have, like, had a better relationship building with, uh, what's her name? The main character. I don't even remember. Yeah, that's how bad it was. <laughs> okay, yeah, and also he would just fly into enemies for no reason. Mm -hmm. He would even get okay. hurt while he was doing his animations or just, yeah, going to them. Although dog and dog ending, if he is the villain, then I guess that technically he's the worst. Yeah, that's why I wanted to give it to Dog, because Dog was a villain. It was all him all along. Although it is hilarious, and I do love that ending. Yeah. But, yeah. but it was Dog was the reason behind Silent Hill 2. So that would make him the worst companion, because he's literally doing bad things He's not too. even a companion either, I mean, well, yeah. <laughs> technically. He's the best pet, or the worst pet. If he's your pet, he's an asshole. Look at what he put you, you through. So we giving it to Dog from uh, Silent Hill too? Yeah, fuck okay. Chomp. He doesn't yeah. even get an award. All right, yeah. not even a bad award. <laughs> All right. Well, there you have it. That is the so best. Four dogs and a and a robot. <laughs> four dogs and a robot. Someone cares. This is Kevin. I'm sorry. So one person cares. But listen, the award committee, the people who vote on the awards, none of us cared about Terrico. So that's what it really matters at the end of the day. So moving on to the next award, we have the Pervious Game of the Year. Uh, oh this boy. Is, this is hard. Uh, this one's this so would have been an easy, easy uh, choice if a certain game was allowed to be chosen. <laughs> oh, what? Honey Pop? <laughs> Honey yeah. fucking Pop? Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> well, Pervious Game of the Year, uh, we have... Uh, we have, we have specific scenes that we chose for why they're the previous game of the year as well. Uh, so let's go through the contenders of the year. We have Asura's Wrath for the hot spring scene. Uh, Star Control 2 for blue alien woman sex scene. Uh, Haunting Ground for Fiona's Jiggle Physics. And also uh, those bonus costumes you unlock at the end of the game. Uh, Indivisible for uh, Thorani's... Uh, <laughs> Ample Possum and Jiggle animation. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, I guess a lot of characters kind of in that game. Uh, and uh, Amnesia, The Dark Descent, for the final bosses, Ding Dong, is hanging out 
He's just it's just there. Yeah. Straight up just naked there. when you Straight walk there. in. I, that's why I feel like compelled to give the first place to that. <laughs> um, I think I would give it. Um, I'm thinking either a Sir's Wrath or maybe Haunting Ground. If I'm thinking about being a pervert, I think of because like a Sir's Wrath, that fucking hot spring scene was just ridiculous. Um, like, there's literally an achievement for, like, zooming in on the girl's boobs. Yeah. <laughs> it's just, the whole entire scene is just ab absurd. Um, Haunting Ground as well, it's like, it's... it's well, Haunting Ground also had a lot of cutscenes where, like, oh, they'll look at this angle of this cutscene where she falls yeah. over, and it's yeah. like, oh, oh, and oh, every oh, character oh. is, like, <laughs> every character has this weird lust for Fiona. Oh, fair, yeah. Yep. And it's just... Literally, actually, if you, every single character goes after her. Yeah, the game just, like... And the game just gets really weird about her sex appeal at some points. Like, just the jiggle physics alone is just, like... I just want to do Fiona, man. <laughs> Let him have it. It's just ridiculous. She, she, like, you take one step and her tits just are, like... Everywhere. Yeah, like they're, one of those, like, door they're all over things. the place. Yeah, you know those little door things that stop your door? It's, like, flicking one of those. Like, yeah. it's, she's, uh... uh... She's not wearing the right kind of bra. Yeah, I guess somebody's <laughs> gotta help this girl out. Get her a sports bra or something. Something. Yeah. But she yeah, the more I problems. think about it, the more I'm leaning towards Hunting Ground now. <laughs> she must have back problems right now. I'm thinking, yeah, yeah either Hunting Ground or Asura's Wrath are, are my two uh, for number one. That's the thing. Asura's Wrath only had a, one specific scene, which was like intentional for that kind of thing. And it was more on the humor side, whereas like Hunting Ground was just, like hey, <laughs> kind of pervy all the time. Um, <laughs> big true, yeah. Although you did come in saying you wanted for for amnesia. True. I mean, he literally he, he shows the most, like straight up. There it is. <laughs> there, actual, well, there it is. Actual nudity. I think it's the only game that we played this year that acts actual nudity. That, yeah, actual nudity. So and, he has and to, the kind you really that, wanted to. Yeah. Well, the, the first the uh, you know it's funny the first game that we played this year Firewatch. Has nudity in it technically too. Huh? Oh. At the beginning. I guess. The teens. Oh. Oh, no, not yeah. not well that, but also like I don't know if you know at the beginning where you have like uh you choose how she draws you, your wife draws you. Uh huh. Did you see the drawing that she made of you? Yeah, but it wasn't was it well I mean yeah, but it doesn't show anything. Yeah, it has has ding old donger out. Oh yeah. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, the drawing of you just with, with your donger. Oh, out. well, <laughs> guess who's gonna win next year? Guess who's yeah. got a nomination next year? <laughs> it's for the one scene, which is apparently forgettable because you guys forgot about it. But I was yeah. more like, I was like, whoa, dong. Yeah, I was worried about her dementia, not about her drawing. Jesus, <laughs> get your priorities straight. Well, I thought it was funny because I picked like the Victoria's Secret pose or or whatever, which uh, you know just showed him like. Doing some like, you know, just showed him doing a Victoria's Secret pose, which I thought was hilarious. <laughs> Looks like Haunted Ground's getting another gold. Holy yeah. are shit! Are we are we in agreement? Do you? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, congratulations, Capcom again. For again, a second gold. Second gold yeah, for, two for in a row. Wow. I don't know if this is a congratulations or you should be ashamed of yourself, but either way. It's both. Yeah. <laughs> Can have this award for making a disgusting pervert game. Um, number two, then, if I, if I, if on the ground is number one, then I think number two should be a Sir's Wrath. Noah? Mm. Got something to say for Amnesia? I mean, there's, uh, <laughs> there's not much more to say about Amnesia. It's just or about Star Control, too. Amnesia's not you do like... have sex. This is the only game you have sex in, That's not true. counting Fallout, because it's not here. Yeah, well, uh, uh, and, and here's the thing with Amnesia. The game's not like, hey, look at this penis, or like, I'm doing something sexual, look at I my dong. You but, have to look up at Alexander while he's hovering. Look, I get it. But that's also, like, is... <laughs> that's also like saying, like, Watchmen is, like, a pervert movie because there's a big blue penis, like, half the Maybe time. it is. Maybe it is. <laughs> <laughs> Um, it's not inherently doing anything sexual, where, like, Asura's Wrath, that entire scene is just, like, straight up. The whole thing is just ridiculous. 
True. Hmm. Um. I mean, I guess if we're going to that aspect, yeah, I would lean more towards Azura's Wrath. But... See, hmm. I didn't use Thorani that much, well, in Indivisible. So, like... Because there were, like, 65 characters? Yeah. So I didn't get to see that much of it. So it's hard to say about that one. Although the blue alien woman... uh. That was a funny scene. And also there's the other aliens that are like very, uh... <laughs> when they communicate, they're very sexual about it. But in a very humorous way. Can't remember yeah. what their race yeah. was. So that was funny. But, um... Yeah, the blue alien one was the one you actually have a sex... Um... I don't know, what are you guys thinking? Well, I know Brandon's thinking of Zora's Wrath, but... Yeah, Zora's Wrath. Why not? Yeah. Go for it. Okay. Uh, number three. Yeah. Third place. Uh, what do you what are you thinking? Because uh, I'm thinking I'm leaning towards third place. Probably Star Control too. Also, congratulations, Capcom again. Yeah. <laughs> Capcom. <laughs> Capcom sweeping. Two in a row for Capcom. The Capcom we need to play more on. more Capcom games. We, we had a time in the game club at one point where uh, we picked, like, three or four game Capcom games in a row. Uh, well, also, I mean, congratulations Capcom, but also congratulations CyberConnect2, who are the developers of uh, Asura's Wrath. Congratulations, gamers. <laughs> uh, you finally reached your sexual maturity. Okay. Thanks to Capcom. So, what do you think? I think I think Star Control too, but uh, I'm thinking Indivisible. I think it gets it's a little much. Okay, she's yeah, always bounced yeah. around. She's a lot like uh, Fiona, except she's not the main character. True, and Indivisible has. I mean, it's if you've seen Skullgirls, you know, you know. If you know, you know. Um, you know when you see it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Indivisible. I would say congratulations, Lab Zero Games, but I don't. Do they exist anymore, or did everybody leave? They had a bad year uh, for good reasons, though, because uh, what's his name? I can't remember his name, but fuck him, because he was a weird pervert, and everybody left the yep. studio. So. <laughs> and you could tell because he won third place. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. So we gave him the only award he's going to get this year. Uh, who cares? I like, guess for the who cares that that would be the most appropriate for the dong. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense now that I think about it. And then Dishonorable Mention, I guess, is going to have to go to Star Control, too. Yeah. The least sexy game. The least sexy God. game. Yeah, I mean, here's the thing with Star Control, too. You can play that whole game without having sex. You know? You can go through the pretty much that whole game without I mean you can I don't know about the rest of those <laughs> the rest of, the rest of these categories it's almost impossible to, to beat the game without coming across you know all these pervert scenes Star mm -hmm. Control 2 you, you can go through it without getting the pervert scenes so that's probably why uh, it is last place in this category <laughs> alright so that does it for the pervious game of the year moving on to the next category I gotta just find that window so I can move it down um, the most annoying or upsetting character of the year again hmm. not a, probably not an award that you're gonna want to win <laughs> back to negative um, so the most you're annoying missing one <laughs> um, um, what your uh, thing is not oh is it up. oh is there like two it's pages cut off, though. oh okay reset it I mean uh, refresh it Oh, Should there be it is. Fun now. Okay, there it is. Okay, we're good now. Just gonna move it up. Most annoying or upsetting character of the year, and your nominees are uh, Mila in her grating voice for Freedom Planet, uh, Mara in her disgusting and out of place, in his disgusting and out of place design, and Indivisible, uh, Kelly in her baby fetish for Busta Groove, <laughs> uh, Ganon's laughing during the game over screen in Zelda 2, the checkpoint dog from Lucky Luke, King Jeff and Jeff Force Gemini. 
and uh, Dubois from Deep Fear. <laughs> um, gonna say <laughs> Kelly and her baby fetish is is my number one for the most annoying or upsetting character of this year. Man, King Jeff really fucks you over. Well, King what Jeff, dick. I mean, he does, but he, he's not just like a baby. It's his fault. He's dumb fuck, but I don't know. I'm giving it to Kelly. Noah. Noah. Kelly's and bear in mind, good. Noah, King Jeff makes you rescue all those fucking Noah tribals. didn't do it, okay? So he doesn't know. Well, I'm I refreshing his memory. The, yeah, I don't share the frustration, but I could definitely see how that would be bullshit. <laughs> uh, mm, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna... Mm. Kelly is obscenely weird, though. Yeah. But I don't want to be the guy that yucks someone's yums, so... <laughs> these are these are okay yums to yuck. Yeah, that's an okay yuck, yuck to yum. Yum to yuck, yeah. Alright, if, if we're okay with that, then I'll I'll choose Kelly over that. Even though I like her theme song. Her theme song is surprisingly good. Yes. <laughs> but her as a care... She, if we were playing Buster Groove 2, she'd be fine. Because she just becomes yeah. a cop. Well, wouldn't she be fine? Yeah. Yeah. She'd be fine. <laughs> wow. You don't think all cops are bastards? What the fuck? No, oh, that's true. But we'll, we'll have the biggest bastard award next year when we pick a, a cop from every game. Damn oh, we gotta play Busted Groove too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not picking it. So. Good, because I'm not either. <laughs> maybe, the, maybe the Patreon people will pick it. Kevin. Um, all right. So that's Kelly. Congratulations uh, to uh, Square Enix. Um, Square Enix. Didn't Enix what? do this game? Oh God, I hope not. They did in Japan. Um, but also, congratulations to uh, Nine Eight Nine Studios, which is now just Sony. So I guess congratulations, Sony. Um, for there you go. congrats, Sony. <laughs> congratulations, Sony, for making a disgusting. You finally got character. one. Uh, so well, only four categories in, and you finally got one. <laughs> Here we go. I, at Microsoft, probably not going to win the war because I don't think we played a single Xbox exclusive game this year. So. Fuck them. <laughs> Fuck them. They don't deserve an award. You make some fucking exclusives, Microsoft. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll give you an award then. Um, second place. Uh, you want to put King Jeff at second place? How do you feel about Dubois? I feel like he's... So, uh... with Dubois... The only thing Dubois gave me was pure joy and laughter every time he spoke. So I don't see him as upsetting or annoying. <laughs> I did not get that. I got yeah, it. I didn't get that either. Yeah. He's, I... he's incredibly off-putting. Incredibly <laughs> off-putting. Almost, almost offensive as a stereotype. Yeah. Type. I mean, sure, but it's not upsetting or annoying to me, so... Upsetting because he's almost uh, upsetting. I get upsetting because he's a, like a stereotype. The, the he's voice acting is bad. Incredibly cringy. Yeah. Like, <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, I will also say say that Mila and her grating voice, she's terrible. Man, the voice acting in that game is really rough. In uh, Freedom Planet. Yeah. My God, she's it's like doing like a baby voice. Yeah, that's it's more. Real bad. That's more annoying than the Bois for me by far. Like, yeah. Just saying, if we hate babies. Yeah, <laughs> everybody basically sounds like their babies, like or kids doing like voice acting and such. And it was just it's, it, com, com, combine that with the writing and the dialogue, it just makes it worse. <laughs> yeah. So I'm more for Mila than Dubois for sure. Yeah, that's Brandon, fine. that's fine. Which one? Uh, I put Mila at second and Dubois. I would put third. Here we Dubois go. Should still get an award for being just off. Oh, first, the the voice <laughs> acting is so fucking bad. Yeah. <laughs> How is he the worst of the voice actors? 
<laughs> it's it's for, well, like I said, it's like for me, it's the point where it's so horrible and bad that it's amazing. So yeah. <laughs> Congrats, Freedom Freedom Planet, and so Sega, Sega. Uh, for Freedom Planet. Or, no, no, uh, Sega Deep Fear. Did. Yeah, Deep Fear. Uh, congrats, whoever who the hell developed Freedom Planet. Uh, it's an indie developed game, so yeah. yeah. Uh, I'll be able to find out in like two seconds here. Congratulations to Galaxy Trail Games, uh, and yeah, and congratulations to Sega, winning an award for Deep Fear all these years later. <laughs> it's um, the only thing Deep so Fear will ever get. Oh. Now, who cares? Um. Probably, I feel like the know. Who Cares would be Mara? Yeah. Mara's so fucking gross. Do you remember his design? I it do. It looks I... so bad. It does not, like, fit with the rest of the game. Yeah, mm. but it's either that or the Ganon's laughing during the game over screen. Well, that's well, more I of think a I would put the dog. Actually, the checkpoint for... dog. Yeah, for the Who Cares, like, either the Checkpoint Dog or Ganon. For mm. Who Cares, for sure. Because, like, I... It did not affect me, literally. Who cares? <laughs> it's weird because, like, the Ranta plant or, or, like, Bushwhack, the dog's name, it's, like, it's the sound he makes when you actually get to the checkpoint. It's, like, checkpoint. a combination of him saying checkpoint in a dopey, dumb voice. Also, barking noises that a dog makes and the weird fucking animation he does when he, sits, he does it. So it's, like, a combination of all those little things. It's, like, what the, just what the fuck? <laughs> Okay, who cares but, to again, uh, the checkpoint yeah. dog? Yeah, I'm okay with that. Okay. That's, that feels like very fitting for who cares. Okay, and uh, the dishonorable mention... The worst one? Uh, um, well, the least the least annoying or upsetting thing. God damn it. Ganon's laughing? Like, I, it literally, like, had no effect on me, so... Out of all these it things... It is annoying when you get game over, but... I mean, it's more of the game over, not the actual Ganon's laughing part. Well, he's laughing at you because you got a game over. <laughs> <laughs> it's like salt on the wound. Like, oh man, fuck <laughs> this game. Why are you <laughs> fuck are you laughing, you bitch? <laughs> it's kind of like the clown honks in fucking uh, Sunshine when you die. <laughs> it plays clown honking. Uh, and you're I'm like, what the too fuck? Bad. <laughs> Um, I don't know, Ailes, what do you think, though? What do you think is your... Well, so it's between Maurer and Ganon's laugh. I feel Mama's much more or, insulting. Or King Jeff. God damn it. Wait, oh shit, King Jeff! <laughs> I completely forgot about him. I hate King Jeff so much, though. I'll so, never forgive him. Okay, so well, then, I guess the, in that case, it's either Ganon's laugh or, uh... Or Mara. It's Ganon's laugh. Fine, Ganon's laugh. Uh, I'm not going to give it to either King Ganon, Jeff or Mara. Ganon's laugh, then. The dishonorable mention. Uh, which, in this category, is probably a good thing. Alright. Now we'll move on. To, again, congratulations to Kelly and her baby fetish. Uh, for <laughs> winning the most annoying character of the year. Or upsetting character of the year. Oh, not yeah. really annoying, just upsetting. For that yeah, one. Yeah, very upsetting. Alright. Uh, then, she takes it too far. Yeah, she does. Takes it way too far. Best antagonist of the year. We all love a good villain. Um, so we need to recognize who the best villain this year was. Uh, yeah, we had a lot of good ones. We mm. had a lot of good ones. And uh, this uh, here, are the ca here are the nominees uh, for best antagonist. We have Porky uh, and or Facade and Mother 3. Daniela in Haunting Ground, Pyramid Head in Silent Hill 2, Goose from Entitled Goose Game, Growing Up in Night of the Woods, uh, The Invisible <laughs> Thing in the Water in Amnesia, Dark Force from Fantasy Star 4, The Janitor in Little Nightmares, and The Master in Fallout. Yeah, all well, these are really good picks. Um, uh, For... I don't know. I feel like it's kind of because you get to play the goose, so he's kind of protagonist and antagonist at the same time. Yeah. But uh, I'm definitely leaning more towards him and Facade because I f fucking hated Facade. So that when you hate an antagonist, that means he's a really good fucking antagonist. Yeah. Um, yeah. 
I agree with but that. I love the goose because I got to be the asshole, yeah, and I can be, be a, I can be the biggest asshole as much as I want, which is great. So it's it, it's a torn between those two for me. Pyramid I think those are good, but Go I on. think my thing is uh, between Daniela and uh, the invisible thing. They <laughs> made you actually terrified. <laughs> I think that uh, and the janitor. Like, mm -hmm. they're actually kind of, like, terrifying. Actually scary. Yeah. Maybe Pyramid Head sometimes, but I think yeah, it's outclassed. I was about to say, Pyramid Head is fucking cool as shit, but the way they used them towards the end of the game was very disappointing, so, like, that's kind of, like, dropped me off from Pyramid Head. Yeah. And yeah, compared yeah. to Daniela, he gets blown out of the water. Yeah. <laughs> and porking at Facade, though, I mean, Noah brings up a good point. I mean, both of them, you hate both of those characters. They're both fucking mm -hmm. assholes. They're pieces yeah. of shit. Like, they're, you're not scared of them as much as you're just like, I want them dead. I want them out of here. Yeah. Uh, they're, they're Facade horrible. tortures a fucking little monkey. Fucking yeah. hate that bastard. Yeah, hate and then Porky yeah. is just a spoiled little shit for brains, motherfucker. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I, I mean... They're not, they're again not scary. Porky, kind of scary at the end of the game, actually. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It was a lot scarier at the end of the uh, first. So is Facade. He has like, yeah. what is growing out of his face? Like instruments? Yeah. He has, he has the, the, the like he horns out of it. Yeah. Like yeah. a saxophone. Like the Mother series yeah. has some some gross sprites sometimes. Especially mm -hmm. Mother 3, where they do yeah. that, like the combining uh, tech with animals. And it's like, oh man, it's fucking mm. gross. Yeah. Yeah, for me, I think uh, I'm leaning towards Porky and Facade from Mother mm. 3 for best villain of the year. Yeah. And Can it I feels tell like you it... about the master from Fallout? <laughs> He's also disgusting. He's disgusting. But... He's also reasonable. He's very He's reasonable. Reason exactly. Yeah. He's very yeah. reasonable. And he actually had a good reason of doing the shit. Well, in his own mind, he had a good yeah. reason of doing that shit. Most and then once do. you open his mind, it's like, oh... I fucked up. <laughs> well, yeah, most villains in their own mind ha think they're doing it for so, no reason. He deserves but... some honorable mention because he's the only villain out of these which actually went on logic <laughs> for, to some degree. Kind of, yeah. 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 You, can, you can't fault him that much, honestly. Yeah. So that has his own, like, um, likable aspect about him. Which is kind of like you don't find on other in other antagonists usually. Although I mean, when you see that bad ending, it's pretty rough. Mm -hmm. It is rough. When you see uh, oh fuck, what's the name of the vault? Vault thirteen. Vault thirteen. Yeah. yeah. When you see that get taken over, man. Yeah. Pretty that rough. Was, that is a rough ending. I, I mm -hmm. watched that on YouTube and I was like, holy shit. Um, yeah, I still I still give it. To to Porky. All right. Porky, Porky and Facade. And Facade, both of them. Fuck them both. So, okay. Congratulations, Nintendo. Nintendo, Oof. racking it up so many. Taking home a second gold award at the Game Club a Awards. Matching haunting ground right now. What's yeah. going to happen? Well, let's see who takes place, takes home the silver for second place. Uh, maybe Haunting Ground, uh, cause... It might be. Daniela's really good, really, really good. The scariest, uh, villain in that game by far. Um, by far. She's oh, just... it's maybe, uh, for me it wasn't the scariest, but it's definitely most disturbing. Yeah. Yeah. Who Which... was scarier for you? Yeah. I... It was the fucking guy with the gun. Yeah, really? Well, I felt him. I felt him the most threatening, kind of. Because yeah, Daniela, I mean, he had a gun. I didn't feel. Yeah, that's kind of what kind of like scared me the most about, it, I guess. But, but he was I, like such a dipshit. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I've, he's an idiot. He's not really <laughs> that scary in a sense, but scary in that like, he was the most threatening to me. I guess I put it that way. Yeah. But definitely, out of like, if you go like with the. What actually disturbed you or made you like feel very uncomfortable definitely would be Daniela. Especially because sometimes she would just like be off. She would just be doing regular shit. Yeah, and, and you just see her and you're like, interact like, oh, with her. You're like, I, 
Yeah. Mm. <laughs> if you leave her be, she usually leaves you alone. Until she sees you. <laughs> oh, man. Fucking Daniela. What a good villain. <laughs> also want to shout out Dark Force. I really like all the different forms that he comes in in Fantasy Star 4. Like, he just keeps coming back. And he looks fucking really cool every time. Mm-hmm. Does look cool. one of my favorites. Um... Yeah, I think I'd give... You guys have no opinion on the goose? <laughs> the goose? Uh, I mean, compared to the other... It's stiff competition, that's why. Yeah, it feels out of place, kind of. <laughs> Yeah, I mean the goof, the goose, the goose doesn't really uh, hurt anybody, like actually I mean, hurt anybody. Mm. Takes their fucking bell <laughs> every time. Every time they keep replacing it. Wow, spoiler alert! What the fuck, man? That's a big <laughs> reveal in that game. Can't believe he's such an asshole. Did we get a random bot in the chat? There's a bot in the chat, and, uh, yes, but that's fine. <laughs> I, I'm not on mod mode, so I can't take it and delete it. Um, if any of our mods are in here, which I don't think there are any, any of them are, so. Um, okay, uh, yeah, I'll give it to Daniela for second place. I'm I mean, good with that. Haunty ground cleaning up. <laughs> uh, so, congratulations, Capcom, for another silver plate, sir. Is it your first silver? First Capcom? silver, you got no. two gold. Well, yeah. no, Capcom got a silver for a sort of wrath too. So. Oh, that's right. I never like Capcom so much. Yeah. You love Capcom. love Capcom. Capcom, I love Capcom. Uh, it's my favorite, like third publisher. Third place. Third party publish. Third place. Um, what were we thinking earlier? We, we, you said uh, the thing in the water. Uh, also, the janitor. Both. Yeah. Very scary. His long ass arms. Yeah, the janitor is like extremely creepy uh, for design, and I, I like a lot that the janitor is like blind. Yeah. Yeah. And um, I think it just it gives in terms of gameplay, it gives it a very fun uh, aspect to it. Yeah. Like you because have... if he wasn't blind, you wouldn't get to see him that much. But actually being in the background and like you watch his movements and how he behaves is like actually really good and see how creepy he is and scary yeah and trying mm -hmm. to sneak Whereas around with the uh, yeah and like you accidentally knock something over and he's like Rawr! you know yeah. and you're like oh oh fuck yeah <laughs> whereas with the invisible water thing yes can be terrifying when you walk in the water but then you just stand on a crate and there's just nothing there well the chase, <laughs> yeah, there the are chase... parts where you have to run through yeah. the water sure. the chase and you scene... have to close the doors behind mm -hmm. you and yeah fuck. Mm -hmm. The chase scene really has you on edge. That was really like the scariest part of that game for me. I think that Very thing, much. and I'm I'm glad you gave it to that thing and not uh, the other thing from that game because uh, what other thing? thing? The other, the thing with the the mouth hanging out, the whatever. The actual oh, creature, yeah. Yeah, 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 the actual creature. Because like, yeah, that thing is kind of creepy looking, but you get used to it. You see him so much, you know. Yeah. That's mm. why. Yeah. Yeah, and the thing in the water, you don't even see him. And, and like the janitor it has a name but I don't remember what the, the fuck it's the name. janitor doesn't over we wouldn't as remember well, either because the thing cool thing about I mean little nightmares is like every chapter has like a new like villain yeah they have to chase you give him in the first chapter then you have the cooks then you have the big people yep. although he does appear in the DLC you have True. he does and you have the geisha as well um yeah but I think the janitor just from a design wise is like the scariest and the most creepy. memorable. Definitely the creepiest, yeah. yeah. The big the big arms are unsettling. Yeah. So I'm okay with giving it to the janitor. Mm-hmm. Alright. Shocking. The master getting blown out. <laughs> Nobody cares about your reasonableness. But you're just too reasonable. You can you're talk about villain. you don't even have to fight him. You can talk him out of it, you know? Yeah. It's how reasonable he is. He can just be like, listen, guy, that's that. this ain't gonna work. And he's like, oh, you're right, I'm killing myself. <laughs> you know? So, wow. I, although he is disgusting to look at, and uh, he, his uh, the, all the voices combined are very creepy. So, honorable mention. 
If there was a fourth, pla fourth place, he would get it. Uh, but who cares? Um... I'm gonna go with Pyramid Head. <laughs> well, Pyramid Head? Um... Pyramid Head, though, is like a... He's a classic. He's a staple. I wouldn't say I wouldn't care about him. It's just that it was disappointing. Um... The, the weird thing about si Pyramid Head is that he's the mascot of Silent Hill, and he's only in one game. Yeah, that's strange. But that's what he became. Who cares? Um, he has a dumb sword. <laughs> Fuck him and his sword. What's the real scariest thing of, of from Silent Hill 2? Fog. James. Uh, <laughs> James the fucking himself. Eddie. Ed, oh, he's, yeah, he's disturbing. <laughs> fucking Eddie. With that goddamn giant gun. <laughs> the hardest part of the game. He loves <laughs> pizza. I would say that, that disgusting room with all the pistons shifting in and out, that's a gross room. Yeah. Um. Oh, the bed thing creature. Or Maria. Oh. Maria, yeah. yeah. Is it Maria? Is that her name? No, Maria was the one that tried to seduce you and all that shit. It was the other person that was stuck with you. It was you, Eddie, and her. That girl who was looking for her mom. Got it. Oh, the one with, like, father issues? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, that one. Yeah. And then the, the boss that you fight that's related okay. to her is, like, the bed. Yeah. 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 That's the, like, the that Yeah, that's pretty gross. Um, but... Um... No, then we have the growing up from the like, woods. We even never even talked about that. No, uh, I think that I I just like adding that in because it's funny to me. Like yeah. that's the whole that's their whole problem. It's not the fucking cult that they have to deal yeah. with. It's just that they're getting older and everything's changing. Mm, that's yeah. Fine. It's a game. Surely, that... it's actually the only real villain in this whole. <laughs> Only one All these other things are fake, but growing yeah. up is real. Yeah, that's true. I don't know, what do you think? What would you give Who Cares to? Me? Um, you or Ills? Either one of you. It's weird to give any of them, because I like yeah. all of them. Yeah. You get, we gotta. I think it's Pyramid Head for me. What do you about? What do you think, Brown? <laughs> so I'm very indecisive here. I'm thinking. Uh, I'm leaning kind of towards Dark Force. As cool <laughs> as Dark Force is, it's like you kind of. It's easy to forget about Dark Force for me, at least. Wow. You know he's the real last boss of the first game. Did you know that? I didn't because I never played the first game. Okay, I wasn't gonna go through those fucking shitty ass first person dungeons. <laughs> fix them for you in the real in the remake. Um, Noah, what do you want? I have no experience with Dark Force, so. Wait, I you didn't play to... uh, Fantasy Star Four? I... I did, but I only saw like his first form or second form. Oh, okay. So I didn't really get to see all. Like I didn't get to see the true and like true form or whatever he has. So maybe that's appropriate for this category. <laughs> Sad. <laughs> wow, crying. <laughs> wow, dark force. The disrespect. And uh, dishonorable mention. I think I, I think the goose, because goose is good, but. I mean, Goose is... How bad is real, really Goose, you know? How bad is Goose, really? <laughs> how, I guess. How, how evil is stealing a belt compared to the, the things that the rest of these people did? True. Know? He ruined everybody's day. <laughs> Probably their week. Oh, yo, wow. One day. Oh, no, I lost my glasses. Is losing I your mean, glasses as bad what as... What if you really needed your glasses that day? Yeah. Well, is losing your glasses as bad as 
literally being killed by the rest of these things that are trying to kill you or take over the the universe or the world? Yes. Hmm. <laughs> no. I'm gonna say it no. Is. You've never been without your glasses, I guess. Yeah. I, well, I have been, but fine. It's fine. All right. It's not the end of the world. <laughs> Move on. All right. Uh, next award. Music is, has run out. Restart the music. All right. Uh, next award. Where's that window so we can scroll down? I already see what it is. I can see what it is, but uh, the most broken thing in a game club game. That made the game mm-hmm. way too easy or either way too hard. Um, and the nominees are uh, Maria in Castlevania Rondo of Blood. Made the game way too easy. Um, Dark Link in Zelda 2. Uh, you impossible. really have to cheese to beat him. <laughs> the Impossible Layer in Ukulele in the Impossible Layer. The Wide Roads in Silent Hill 2. Uh, Quicksilver Marino in Mega Man X command mission um an infinite stun lock on on bosses in john wick hex uh or the free unlimited kits first aid kits and ammo in deep fear hmm. Oof. this is actually gonna be tough um <laughs> i think only one of these made the game too hard right <laughs> impossible layer impossible dark link layer, dark link well, no, if you use the cheap tactic on Dark Link, then it's broken and it's too easy. Yeah, I guess. It's a both, I guess. <laughs> um... <sighs> Having free unlimited first aid kits and ammo definitely made the game, like, less scary and intimidating. Yeah. But there were boss fights where, like, you have to be careful how you navigate around, and the rooms, like, you fight in are very tiny, so you can die despite that. Can um, you? Because I never did. Yeah, I did. <laughs> I don't even remember the boss fights. It was like... I only remember the final boss. The first one was in, like, the... Oh, yeah, game. no, I remember now. Yeah. That was a tough one, because you barely had any strong weapons. Um, yeah, it was, like, fucking... Five by five inches. Yeah. Fucking area. You, you have to constantly run around and shit. Annoying. Um, wide roads kind of is funny. I like that, but it's like, uh, it's yeah. Like you, you can completely avoid all the enemies because the it's like such an open area in Silent Hill to walking outside. Exactly. Road, so. There's, like, There's no point to ever be scared. No point, yeah. Uh, you can get startled, but not scared. Um, I never got to experience Maria, unfortunately, because the game would break and glitch on me and freeze. So I never got to actually experience that. Uh, Dark Link, as we said, all you have to do is duck in the corner, you beat him. Otherwise, you cannot beat him. I refuse to believe anybody can beat them uh, normally. You can beat him. <laughs> I came uh, close. I refuse to believe. <laughs> I came um, close without the healing move. Which is uh, a lot. Uh, I didn't use Marino too much in Mega Man X Command Mission. Uh, but I definitely heard the stories on how broken it can be. Um, I think I should. I want to give it to Infinite Stun Lock on bosses on John Wick Hex. Because I they literally could not do shit. And I stun locked them and they made the bosses actually very uh, anticlimax. Uh, and take yeah. every boss, hard is. Thing, yeah, every he, single, every boss. single boss in the game, even the last boss. The only mm-hmm. hard thing about the bosses in John Wick are the other enemies that show up while you're fucking trying to yes. fight the boss. Yeah. I mean, if they even show up, like not even. A, I don't, I'm pretty sure not every boss has extra enemies to show. Not up. every boss. Nope. Does. Some, one or two of them did, but the so last boss the... was so fucking anticlimactic. Yep. I was like, wow, oh, okay, it's over. Literally, dude, once you see the boss, throw your gun at him. Stuns him, and, uh, him, throw him down, throw him down, throw him down, throw him down, beat him up. <laughs> and uh, the uh, the weapons that the extra enemies give you in the last boss of the of uh, John Wick kills the fucking last boss in, like, one hit. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> once you have, like, that, that assault rifle that the enemies drop, it's over. Hmm. So yeah, yeah I mean, I want to give it to the Infinite Stun Lock. <laughs> it's so fucking broken. Like I don't even understand like why this is part of the game, really. Yeah, I almost feel like 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 it's an oversight. I don't know. 
I yeah, think it, maybe. maybe it was because because like, like the rest of the game, you actually require some strategy to it. Yeah. You have to actually manage your time and yeah, because select the right enemies, movements. So you can completely immobilize one person, which John Wick is do easily. But yeah. if he's surrounded by twenty, uh, like two or three other people that are just aiming and shooting at you, then that makes sense. You can't really just do that. So you have to figure out how to get them all in, incapacitated or stunned or whatever. Mm -hmm. But it also like. I mean, it kind of makes sense because John Wick is fucking godlike at what he does. But yeah, I mean, it, these guys. It, supposed it's to be not boss satisfying. Fight. At it's all. not satisfying. Yeah, to do it against like I feel like the boss should be like a little resistant or like have like a pushback kind of thing. Yeah, would have made it good, but yeah, like you you literally make them your bitch <laughs> every time. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, I I, I agree. So I guess, uh, first place, the infinite stun lock on your bosses and John Wick Hex makes the game way, makes at least that portion of the game way too easy. That game's not easy, uh, but no. you would There's think the bosses, levels that are really tough, but, you would think yeah. the bosses would be hard, uh, but unfortunately. Yeah, those are expected to be challenging. Unfortunately, yeah. the whole point of being the boss. <laughs> yeah. Boss is the easiest part of the game. So, uh, congratulations to Biffle Games and Good Shepherd Entertainment, the, the uh, publisher, uh, for winning first place and um, sec taking home your second award. They didn't think they'd be here, but here they are. Here they are, <laughs> winning the gold, winning the first place. Uh, now, number two, um, I'm leaning towards... Um... Probably the unlimited ammo, deep fear. For me, it was just like, oh, I mean, this game's not scary at all. Yeah, it took away all the, like the like, tension. If you're trying to be a Resident Evil game, why the fuck would you give you your your player like unlimited ammo? Because and first aid kits. And first, and aid, first kits, aid kits up yeah. the ass. Like, it just takes out any tension. Which, yeah. If you're a survival horror game, like what the hell? <laughs> yeah, I mean. I, I agree with all that, and we said all that during the episode. Yeah. But it's, it's like, it's boring. <laughs> like, yeah, I feel like this is a who cares category. <laughs> yeah, this is like a who cares thing. Sure, sure. Like, I don't even think, I don't know. Okay, throw it in who cares. Just throw it in. Um, We're skipping. We're skipping. We're going straight to who cares. <laughs> we figured it out already. The problem with me for Maria is that I didn't unlock her, so I didn't get. Actually... Yeah, you had the same issue with me. Yeah. Oh, you just didn't unlock. I her. I just yeah. didn't unlock her. Like I tried to, I did find her and unlock her out of the prison, but the game would just freeze there. I would, I couldn't even see the cutscene. I would just hear the voice acting, <laughs> and then that wouldn't continue. It would just. God, like you me. both missed out on yeah. the most fucking overpowered <laughs> Castlevania. Well, character. is that a thing that I would want to miss out on? Yeah, because it's fun to run through the game a second time with her. Mm. Like, you had to struggle with Richter, and then yeah. this little girl comes around, and she's so much better. <laughs> Plus, she uses cats. That's one of her attacks. I do, I, I, I'm sad that I missed out on the cats. Um, I could take your word for it if you really feel strongly about yeah. it. But... What do you feel strongly about for second place? <sighs> it's real hard, man. Uh, Mari knows... Quicksilver is so fucking insane. Like, the feeling of having her go infinitely, mm -hmm. it's so good. Like, mm -hmm. you could just keep going. Like, it was man, ridiculous. that's so much. That uh, Yeah, it, it completely shatters some of the bosses in the game. And they can cheese the fuck out of you. So it mm -hmm. feels good to cheese the fuck out of them real bad, back yeah. real hard. Yeah. Oh, yeah, some of the bosses were super fucking frustrating. <laughs> yeah. I mean, cheap. it's just like a press this button to win mode. Mm -hmm. Especially if you give her more, uh, more rounds for her hyper, yeah, and then and then yeah. replenish it. Man, yeah. it's over. Yeah, she could she could go like a million turns in a row. <laughs> yeah, literally nothing can catch up to her. I'm willing to give that second place because I did use her and mm. I had the same experience. Was my favorite. Probably my favorite part of the whole game. 
All right, well, congratulations to Capcom. Capcom. <laughs> and uh, third place. You know, we didn't, because we were talking about things that make the game easy. We didn't really even talk about the impossible layer at all, because that's the only one on here that, True. Just, that really make the game <laughs> extremely hard. But I don't think it's really. I wouldn't say it's broken. Broken. It's like it's challenging on purpose. Well, compared to the pace of the rest of the game, it does yeah. feel like insanely like out of place almost. Yeah, I mean it's interesting the way they let you tackle it, how you can tackle it at any time. So it like yeah. lets you know that it's not going to oh, be so easy. Oh, so we are talking about like the impossible there that we eventually beat, or we're talking about the impossible there that's like fucking frustrating, like day one. Like it's, it's the same one. hard one. It's the same place. It's just you no, don't but have like, to beat. Oh, okay. So I don't. I don't know. Uh, I don't think that should, should go to it. Um. Maybe dark. I mean, it did make the game way harder. It did make mm. the game extremely hard, but I wouldn't say it was broken. No, yeah. I mean broken is it, it's not like a real thing. It's not oh, actually yeah, breaking. Right. I know what you mean, but mm. if it wasn't for that, that game wouldn't really be. Well, there's a couple challenging sections here and there. Yeah, but it's a weird um, thing. The impossible layer. It almost makes the game unbeatable for like people who aren't good at platformers. Yeah, that sounds broken. <laughs> yeah. That one definitely put it on the accessible part. <laughs> um, like, imagine playing the whole game thinking, you know, you, you were going to be able to beat the last part, that, that the bees were actually going to save you. They Man. Don't. I they, got every fucking bee fast. in that game. I got every single Ooh. fucking bee, and I still barely beat it. Like, it's so fucking hard. Yeah. And that's not even counting the original version where they didn't have checkpoints. I can't believe they didn't have checkpoints in that originally. Mm. That's insane. Yeah, if it didn't have the checkpoints, this easy would get the cake. But um, So what know, do you want to give it to of, instead? Uh, what do you think about Dark Link? I, I think Dark Link is fucking hard as fuck. Yeah. And the fact and the fact that almost everybody uses the cheesiness or the glitch just sitting in the corner to beat him in the most uh, like <laughs> stupidest way without taking damage most of the time is just a huge contrast between how you're supposed to fight it and how yeah. you actually deal with it that I don't know I feel like that might be I mean basically uh, all combat in that game is a little bit but that's the most broken yeah like yeah Uh, I'm leaning more towards that, but I'm also willing to give it to Mary because Ills says that it was what he's been telling what he, it, how he explained it and described how you play with Maria sounds really. She broken. literally has a double <laughs> jump that lets you skip whole areas of the game. <laughs> that sounds nice. Yes, it's so good. <laughs> She's so fast. She jumps so high. Yeah, she's amazing. And, yeah, considering the whole game was made for Richter. Exactly. Having somebody do all that just feels like you would just go through the fucking level with breezing through. Oh, and also she attacks way faster than Richter. Oh, there you go. <laughs> yeah, okay, so, I'd um, be willing to give it to Maria. Yeah. Finally. <laughs> she's back. Back where she belongs. Congratulations, Konami. Konami finally First got one. We finally got something. Oh no! Wait, Silent Hill. Did we not give Silent Hill something? No, we didn't give Silent oh, Hill. Oh, we one. didn't. Oh yeah. Yeah. No, we did. Dog and dog ending. Well, that's a oh. horrible. That's um, a nice oh yeah, I did. There it is. That's not a congrats. But it is the second second award to uh, Rondo of Blood. Big true. Specifically, that game. <laughs> yep. Got one for Richter. One for Maria. Mm. Uh, okay, so uh, the dishonorable mention, I would say I would give it two, probably the Wide Roads in uh, Silent Hill. Wide Hill. Roads. Yeah, I'm gonna give it to Wide Roads. Oh, uh, going for three. Uh, is that the third Silent Hill one? No, second. No, third. Wait, what? I'm confused. 
Oh, we were Second. talking about freaking... Yeah. I got confused around the blood. Okay, so... Moving on. Next award. I'm just cleaning up somehow. <laughs> Protagonist, that's the most screwed. Yeah. Interesting category. Um, your protagonist that just... You look at them and say, wow, they are in a real shit spot. Yeah, uh, their life is garbage. Yeah. So, the the, uh, the nominees are Lucas, Mother 3, uh, Fiona from Haunting Grounds, you and all of humanity from Star Control 2, Ajna from Indivisible, Asura from Asura's Wrath, Six and Little Nightmares, and the Vault Dweller from Fallout. Well, I gotta say, uh, right off the bat, all these people are fucked. Uh, mm, yeah. They are in just... You gotta feel for them. They're not having good lives. None of them are having a good life. I think almost all of them have dead parents. Um, well, Lucas doesn't. Well, dead. Well, mother's dead, but... <laughs> yeah, I mean, really all of them. All of them have dead parents in... Vault Dweller, I assume your parents are dead. You don't really know, but yeah, you probably. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, probably. Uh, also, at the end of the game, you're just, you know, you're fucked. Yeah. I mean, you're fucked the whole game, I mean. But well, even, a even after yeah, you win. Yeah, even more. Like, yeah. yeah. You literally do so much, and then they just like, oh, you can't stay. You have to go. Please understand. Yeah. I'm like, well, well, fuck you. <laughs> it's the ultimate, like, backstab, basically. Yeah. You no know, happy ending for you. Lucas... You feel bad for this kid. Is he's a kid? He's literally a kid. Yeah. And, and also, I mean, after the ending, same thing, basically. Yeah. Like, the end of Mother Three. I mean, it's not. You're not. It's not a feel good ending. It's not <laughs> a happy three. ending. No, it's not. It's not at all. It's a great ending. I mean, especially with the awesome. fight with uh, Klaus. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Oh man, oh, yeah. that's so good. It's a, oh, but, fucking amazing. Um, but, but yeah, you have no fucking idea what happens after that. Yeah. Yep. And uh, so, poor Lucas. I mean, again, he's just a fucking kid. He goes through all this bullshit. Um, you know, dead mother too, which is really sad. Uh, Fiona. I mean, her. She got dead parents. Uh, also, her dad was like a clone. Her dad was a yeah. clone. Question mark. Everybody's lusting over her. People are trying to literally steal her for her womb. She's stuck in this yeah. mansion. I mean, she's. But but she had Huey. She has Huey, but when she leaves that mansion, what does she have left? Her life goes to Huey. Fuck. Huey. She, <laughs> she has Huey. Huey. She does have Huey. She's so she's probably better off than the yeah. rest of these people at the end of the game. Somehow. Somehow, yeah. yeah. You got a good companion out of it. So good, he won best companion in a game. Game yes. game. So that almost eliminates her from being the most. Yeah, story, I would know? say that'd be the dishonorable mention. <laughs> uh, um, you and all of humanity. Um, Star Control Two. Yeah, that's that's kind of fucked. But you do break free, right? Yeah, you do. yeah, but you're in a fucking terrible place. Like there are yeah. a shitload of enemies around you. As soon as you start, and you're that so game, fucking weak. As soon as you start that mm -hmm. game, but you do build an army. You and really make a have lot to of build friends. an alliance. Yeah, you do you make, make a lot, lot of friends <laughs> out there. It's a, Not easy, but you do. It's a hard road. It is a hard road yeah. to get there. Uh, Ajna, yeah, I mean her, <laughs> her whole fill. <laughs> Everybody she knows basically dies. And uh, also, she's secretly an evil god or yeah. some shit. So, and she has to die in order to wait, like defeat that god. Yeah. So she's pretty fucked as well. She she doesn't she doesn't have parents, but then everybody who she cares about like dies. So, um. Osura, holy fuck, man! This poor guy. Osura's a yeah. He goes through a lot. Um, he gets killed like he, four or five times. Yeah. His yeah, and his his wife gets killed. You know. And... Yeah. But he gets to do what he loves most: punch him. <laughs> True, but like, doesn't he lose his daughter at the end anyway? Uh, well, he loses his life. Life, technically, I mean, uh, he yeah. loses his wife at the beginning. At the end, after you no, beat the life, game, life, as in his own oh, life. Oh, his life he gives yeah. his life. Yeah, he but it's like reincarnated he, or something. He, I think, yeah. Well, they all do, but yeah. Um, but he does everything for the person he loves, and he gets to achieve that, and he gets to beat the shit out of the person that put him through all this. So yeah, but the shit that he goes like, through is true. ridiculous. Yeah. 
Doesn't he, like, get stuck in a mountain for, like, 500 years? Yeah. True. Yeah, Is he, he conscious during all the time? Then, yeah, that would fucking suck. <laughs> yeah. He, um, uh, he, gets, he gets pretty screwed over. Um, and then Six? I mean, Six, six goes through goes. some shit. Yeah. Six is stuck Which on this. Yeah, the little gnomes. She does beat the, ge the geisha and gain all the powers and becomes evil. Yeah, after she more? beats the... After she becomes, like, that uh, a monstrous thing, she's just, like, stuck. Yeah. Hmm. So even after she survives all that bullshit, which is fucking terrifying, having people try to eat you, hmm. it's, uh, yeah, well, she's we don't not in a great her, place. We don't know her fate yet, because there is yeah, I mean, Nightmares 2 hmm. coming out. We're only she's... doing it from this game. Yeah, yeah, we do know she is in Little Nightmares 2, um, so... Well, I think we should just base it off the game that we have. Yeah, mm. yeah. And she's pretty screwed in that game as well. This is a tough one. Yeah. Like, oh, except Fiona. I feel like Fiona got away with a good. <laughs> and she, she had, had some... a dog. She has she a had dog. The best companion, so uh, definitely not her for the gold. Um. I think. Uh, I think I might give it to Lucas. Mills, what are you thinking? I might give it to the Vault Dweller. Although Lucas is very close. I was a little thinking between those two as well. <laughs> um, Why does the yeah, Vault Dweller get picked? He's just, yeah, I don't know, he's just a dude. <laughs> does so much. Gets, he gets really thanked say... for it, but also backstabbed. Well, uh, I understand. Listen, yeah. I, it sucks that you get kicked out, but I understand the reasoning behind it. Mm -hmm. You know, you, you, I can't blame uh, whatever his name is. Even though it's bad reason. Mm. Bad reason, but I understand his reasoning. So it's like, all right, you know. Um. Then again, he did get rid of all the mutant. Well, yeah. And but there's still things like death. You go off and start a new town there. and have a family. Well, if we're counting Fallout 2, then <laughs> we do know nah. we do know the Vault Dweller does have kind of a kind of a good better road down the down the line. It's just the fact that he would have to go through all that. Well, not necessarily all that shit again, but he's gonna have to struggle to have a fucking decent life. Whereas a lot of these characters have good endings, somewhat or satisfying like ends, if even if they're ends weird i would say mm, lucas was probably the most unsure ending yeah. yeah even though like the characters off screen tell you oh we're fine or whatever yeah. like you don't see them like you don't know what happened yeah no you don't hear from lucas exactly mm. you don't know what happens to lucas so yeah i don't know I mean, again, I was thinking, I was thinking Lucas, but also I could, if you feel strongly Vault Dweller, that's fine with me too. What's up, Noah? I think I'm gonna go with Vault Dweller. Okay. Well, can, then that's uh. All right. Congratulations to Interplay for uh, taking home this award. And uh, second place, then I PC still say gaming. Lucas. We're back on top. <laughs> <laughs> second place, then I say Lucas. Yeah, I'm good with that. Third, third place. I think Ills agrees, right? Because Ills was said he was. Yeah, torn that's, between them. that's good. And then third place, um, I'm thinking six, or or Os uh, maybe Osura actually. Also, it does lose almost all his friends, like especially um, Yasha. I mean, does, yeah. Um, yeah, he, his wife dies. His wife is literally killed. Wife dies. His daughter gets kidnapped. He I mean, literally he's literally killed pinned. like four or five yeah. times. He gets pinned out of everybody for forgot yeah. what the reason. He gets was. framed for everything. He yeah, also dies everything. like a million times himself. He gets his ass kicked. He gets his arms ripped off. He gets fucking frozen for five hundred years. Yeah. Stuck in a mountain. 
Yeah, actually, I think Osaro should be number third place. Here we go. Third Capcom. place. Congratulations, Capcom, taking home another. Yeah. Gotta win one every round. <laughs> <laughs> who cares? The Who Cares Award. Um, I think either. Probably you, you and all of humanity. <laughs> Just funny wow. to say. Just funny to say. <laughs> who cares? Humanity. Who cares about <laughs> humanity? Humanity's garbage. Mm. <laughs> Yeah, I think I agree. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. And I think, and then Dishonorable mentioned, do we agree that Fiona should win Fiona. just because Fiona has Huey? Yep. And that's a better it's, ending it's, than... It's pretty strange, but I guess yeah. so. <laughs> if you have a dog, you're having a great life. You're having yeah. a... You're, yeah, you're having it's a better tolerable. life than most of these people. <laughs> okay, well, that was the best... Or the <laughs> best... The protagonist that got the most screwed. Uh, now, the best side character that stole the show it's almost like n not the best companion this, i like this one this is a the good best one. side character that stole the show better some would say better this character is better than the main character themselves yes uh so the nominees are rope snake from mother three rob Lowe from fox hunt uh yasha from asura's wrath rat uh rosmi is it rasmi or rosmi 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 from Indivisible, and then Greg and B from Night in the Woods. Greg rules, okay? Greg yeah. rules, okay? <laughs> That's true. Greg does rule. Um, good characters. I mean, All these good characters. Well, I don't know if Rob Lowe is a good character. but I feel like the, the clear winner is Rob Lowe. Ropes. Yeah. <laughs> well, he's better than I mean, the main character. Yeah, for sure. I definitely... Yeah. He definitely... <laughs> He's better than every. Well, there's the one guy that's always trying to kill you, who is actually kind of funny. Uh, I do oh, like the that guy. guy with the lobster hands. I forgot his name though. Yeah, that guy. I think he gets an honorable mention from that game for being yeah. actually <laughs> kind of funny sometimes. Um, but fucking Rob Lowe is the. He's the he's yeah. the he's the one bright spot in a very dark shit video game. Yeah, easily the best part of the game. I mean, uh, I was joking when I said that, but but I, I don't mean, think if you, I don't if you think, really want to give it to Rob Lowe, no, I don't think I would give. I was going to give it to Rob Snake. <laughs> you give? I would. I, I was going to give it to Yasha. Yasha's so cool. Yasha is better than Asura in every single way. I, it's, he's so it's weird because cool. in the beginning it didn't start out that way for me, but I definitely started liking him more than. Sure yeah, the game does a good job of making you like him as you play the mm. game, you know? At first you think he's an asshole. Yeah. And then the parts where you get to play as him are, like, really cool. Mm-hmm. And also, he's but, not just, like, a mindless brute like Asura. Like... Yeah. He's actually, like, intelligent, trying to think things through, even though yeah. that's not enough. And you definitely need brute strength to overpower everything. Well, <laughs> not really, because yeah. Asura needs fucking Yasha's thing at the end yeah true that's core um yeah this yeah, is your uh brother-in-law by the way in rope snake yes. definitely yeah rope snake definitely i feel like he definitely stole the show more than anybody because literally <laughs> out of nowhere <laughs> he likes and saves, saves the party and everything just out of nowhere it just becomes a character something that is completely unexpected to happen yeah. and you yeah. immediately feel like affection for a, he's a fantastic yeah <laughs> he is problem. for the little exposure that he gets he's the, fantastic the problem is... tiny exposure made big big impact on you as almost the whole game did <laughs> it really sucks because all these characters are really good it's an airplane what fucking airplane flying it's wicked close to the house right now yeah it must have just really just over the fucking house like, jesus christ i know we have an airport nearby but that was a low one it, it, um, holy fuck. Yeah, I can... I can get on board with Yasha, though. Because you actually... Uh, is he the only one you... Well, I guess Rosmi you technically play as. Because she's in the yeah. party. Yeah. Um, but also, she's the funniest. She's the funniest yeah. character in the in the game. She's great. Her writing is funny, and she she's all doom and gloom. And just wants to see people get hurt. And loves it when people are upset. I, I, she's great. I love mm -hmm. Rosmi. 
Um, and her voice acting is also really good. Yeah. Um, but Yasha is, um, like you said, he's he's just he's a good um, balance uh, to Asura in that game. I think. Yeah. Uh, well, I, th- I just think he's better than Masura. He's just badass too. He's just a badass dude, and he has, yeah. yeah, and he goes from and a villain to your friend. Is way better too. <laughs> you gotta love a good mm-hmm. Vegeta story, you know, when they go from your from the villain, they come to your side. You love it. Okay. Also, he beats Asura's ass like most of the fights. <laughs> he does. Yeah. He does. So, yeah, I'll give it. I'll give it to to Yasha. So, okay. congratulations, Capcom, by the way, for winning another gold. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> They're a powerhouse. Their second gold. Their second their second gold, first place. Uh, now, silver. Um, I was third thinking, gold? Is it their third? No, it's their second. Haunted Ground got two. Oh, uh, yeah. Haunted Ground got two. Gra- Huey Ground and uh, Jiggle Physics. <laughs> oh, yeah. You're right. You're right. You're right. So, wow. Third. Holy fuck. Um, second place, I would, I would give it to Rosmi. I just like her a lot. I love Rosmi, but I definitely feel like Rope Snake had a bigger impact. <laughs> Here's the thing. Greg and B are very good. They are. And they are. Man, I feel like those are the best parts of the of Night in the Woods. It's hanging out with Greg and B. Yeah. I agree with that. It is the best part of that game. Greg does rule, okay? Greg rules. Okay. You know what? B also rules. B, B does rule. But that's rule. not the catchphrase. Yeah, but mm-hmm. because Greg does rule. Um, he rules so You know what? I, hold on one sec. Greg rules. Wait, keep talking. Keep discussing. Mm-hmm. Greg keep rules. Discussing. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, I, I feel like they're also... I mean, they're, they're like the... The emotional core of the story. Oh wow! There he is. <laughs> there he is. He rules. Greg rules. Okay. He does. Well, he, now that you did that, proof. we have to put him on the phone. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Okay, I mean, I'll give it to Greg and B. All right. So that's second place. And then who's gonna take third? God damn it. Um. I'd give it to Rope Snake for third. Okay. Although, whoever doesn't get third gets that dishonorable mention. Yeah, it sucks. <laughs> mm-hmm. Man. Cause I hate. I'm okay with giving dishonorable mention to Rob below, but I, I, man, given given Rob's me, who cares? Or dishonorable mention that hurts. Mm. Yeah. Got a lot of hurt feelings going on. Right well, now. I definitely don't want to do it to Rope Snake or Southern Rasmi, but imagine putting who cares on Rope Snake though. I can't. No, can't that's either. impossible. Rope Snake. You know what? Third. Okay, yeah. Rope Snake third. Here's the thing. Let's give who cares to Rosmi, because that's what Rosmi would say about this fucking award. Yeah, <laughs> pretty much. It's fair funny. enough. <laughs> Rosmi would not give a fuck. She wouldn't care. So we can give it to her. Not that we don't care about Rosmi, but in the spirit mm. of her and her character. <laughs> and then dishonorable mention, Rob Lowe. Yeah. He, dishonorable. He stole the show, but the show he stole was kind of shit. So yeah, that was a garbage <laughs> show. Yeah. <laughs> All right, now the next award goes is the most confusing place or thing in a game club game. Might have to take Greg out of there. <laughs> Greg go somewhere else. Uh, sorry, Greg, you're hidden now. Um. <laughs> Uh, let's see. The most confusing place or thing in a Game Club game. The prison from Silent Hill 2. The universe in Star Control 2. Death Mountain uh, in Zelda 2. Lots of 2s going on. Names, Name or text slash skills and what they do in Fantasy Star 4. Uh, the minecart level in Lucky Luke. 
and uh, finding and collecting the spaceship parts. And, uh, this is a very easy one for me, the universe. Way. Easily for from Star Control 2. Because the it's universe? Really, yeah. It's so... Like, you literally just dropped in there. And you have no idea where you are. Even... If, like, the first place is supposed to go is, like, right next to you, it's hard to tell, like, you're supposed to go to Earth. Yeah, it, there's it, no Earth. direction. There's no, no direction. Yeah. It, it, it can't get any more confusing than that. Although, I do want to put uh, the names and tech skills of what they do in Fantasy Star. But there are a couple that you can realize what they do, so. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I, definitely... I feel like the universe is the most overwhelming. Because, yes, like, when I started more. this game, I didn't realize what it was and then mm -hmm. once you get because at the beginning you're like in front of earth yeah so they kind of give you like a direction okay you're supposed to go to earth and then you figure out what's going on there yeah. but after that you're directionless like yep. yeah. you just go wherever the fuck and e it's so dangerous and everything will kill you right away and yeah. it's mm -hmm. fucking terrifying yeah it's ridiculous yeah you would think usually being that open is a good thing but yeah, it's rough. <laughs> you have no fucking idea how to play the game or what to do. Yeah, those fucking so probes. Oh, yeah. so that's confusing. I didn't even go right to Earth the first like three times. I just like, was like flying yeah. around. And I kept coming across those guys that would just kill me and game over. Wait, yeah. don't they start you off right in front of Earth? They do, mm -hmm. but I was like. I was just flying If you go around. slightly off screen, you go off screen. You're like, oh, well, yeah. Universe. And the You're flying like, oh. controls. Oh my oh, god. Shit. <laughs> yeah. It's so, rough. Uh, it's the easy, easy gold for me for the universe. Yeah. yeah Fair enough. It's fine. Star Control 2. Hey, congratulations to Toys Toys for Bob for taking home the award from the most confusing place or a thing in a game club <laughs> game for twenty twenty. Um no. well, no, it, it does make sense that the universe is the most confusing. The universe mm, is yeah. a confusing place. It's a big old finish. fucking place. You can't you can't, you can't you, you can't argue that. You really can't. Um, now, yeah, I mean, I, I guess second place. Second place, I'm torn. Either Fantasy Star 4 or Jet Force Gemini. Um, probably leaning more towards Jet Force Gemini because they don't tell you where to go when you nope. have to get all the spaceship parts. It's just go find them. You have no fucking idea where they you are. You search through every area with all three characters. Yeah. <laughs> Luckily for me... Um, growing up as a kid, I played this game and I had a player's guide. And because I had that player's guide, I pretty much had a memory where most of them were already. But without that, wow. you have no fucking idea. Wow. Yeah. It seems like I had the worst time of everyone then. Yeah, I mean, again, yeah, I had the player's guide as a kid. No, I, I played the original. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't get to play the remake, so. Oh, right. Yeah, no. <laughs> I also, I mean, I played it as that original as a kid, too, when I first got my, you know, when I first got that game, when it came out. And, like, yeah, I had the player's guide, though, so it helped a lot. <laughs> but it is God. bullshit that they just drop you and they're like, you know, or they're just like, hey, go go find all these spaceship parts now, and you have to go. Yeah, you don't know where they are. There's that... no radar. Yeah. Especially that one where you told me about where you had to get a gold medal on a very specific fucking uh, part with the robot. Yeah. Yeah. And then bring it back to like that walrus and yeah. 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 You would have no idea that's where you get it either. There's no yeah. fucking. I mean, he tells you uh, something tells like you. that, it's, but it's not clear. It's the bear, right? You have to get the earplugs for the bear. Is it a bear? I thought it was a walrus, but no, it might be a bear. It's a bear. <laughs> it, yeah. Yeah. But he tell he tells you I think, but you also have to find him. Yeah. And, and he's at like a random random planet on the side of nowhere that you have to find like a secret exit to get to or something. It's just fucking yeah. ridiculous. It's stupid. So I would put that at number two. Yeah. Fair enough. You give me that. No complaints. So in agreement of putting on the uh, names and texts of skills and what they do, the spells of <laughs> Fantasy Four. Of Fantasy Star 4? Uh, I mean, they are confusing, but I feel like you get the hang of them. You do have to experiment. Well, that's the yeah. thing. If you can't figure out, you're like, okay, I'll experiment. But then you do the spell, and yeah, it doesn't some of them, what happens. <laughs> some of them don't tell you at all. Yeah. And yeah. yeah. <laughs> I will say one of the most frustrating places, though, was the minecart level in Lucky. 
I hated it so much. Yeah. But this like, is for most confusing or th place or thing. Confusing. Yeah, it, I mean, I hated it because it was so fucking confusing. I mean, yeah, that's mm -hmm. true. Oh, man. It's hard to remember where the fuck you were, and, like, everything looks exactly yeah. the same. Yeah, and you just keep going. You don't even know what the mm. fucking goal is. You have to go yeah. all the way through and then all the way back. And there's a time limit. It's so there dumb. Why is yeah. there a time limit? Why did yeah. you make us play this game? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I I hate that level with my whole heart. <laughs> um, I'm willing to. I remember you saying you much. didn't like Death Mountain a whole lot, uh, which yeah, it is confusing. But I think out of most of these, it's probably the least offensive because it happens so early in the game. Yeah, yeah. I agree. What, Death Mountain the one where you had to find the secret wall that you just randomly walk through. No. You have you just no. you just go through doors and it's just. Oh, it's hard because it's early in the game and you're not really strong and they kind of throw some tough enemies at you. Yeah. It's just long and if you die, you have to start it all over again. Um, yeah. So it's, it's But then really later on, you could just bypass it completely. So yeah. you, you only have to do it one time. Yeah. And then the prison. The prison? But you get the map, so... It's definitely the biggest section in that game. Yeah. And it's real big. I mean... Damn. Even with the map, you like if without the map, you're fucked. <laughs> yeah, but with the map, there's so many like little doors, and I think you have to collect very specific things from the cells mm -hmm. to uh, open that hatch. So it's kind of a bitch. Yeah, but it's not as I I, I agree with Ills. The fuck, fuck that fucking minecart. It's so con <laughs> it's so annoying, and it's just, yeah. You don't it was, you yeah. don't. I, I'm like, what the fuck? When is this level gonna end? I didn't even realize I was going around in circles for a long time. Mm -hmm. It's so it's dumb. It's bad. Yeah, it's real bad. Um, so, yeah, I'm putting it in. Put it at third place. Okay. Can't believe Lucky Luke won something. <laughs> um, now the Who Cares Award. I'm willing to give the Who Cares Award to um, Death Mountain. No, maybe that's dishonorable mention because that's the least offensive here. Who cares? Maybe to the prison, or to the, I don't know. Maybe it is confusing the thing from Fantasy Star Four. But once you know, it's more like a who cares. You know, yeah, for most of them. Yeah. yeah. The thing is, I just looked up online what they did because I was like, I was like, this is dumb. Why doesn't the game tell me? So I just looked it up. Mm. You know, once I knew, I was fine. So, and it's and it's not like something that you like. And, and, what, and I didn't feel like I was cheating the game to look that up because I was like, you know, it, back in the day you'd probably have an instruction manual, and that instruction mm -hmm. manual would tell you all this shit. So mm -hmm. looking Thanks. that up isn't telling yeah. you how to beat the game; it's just telling you what your actual fucking spells and moves do. Yeah, so, I think that I'm okay with that's putting a that. Good, that's cares. a good who cares, yeah. And then dishonorable and then death mention. Mountain. Yeah, I'm okay Excellent. with putting dishonorable mention in death for Death Mountain. Okay. I'd put the prison there, maybe. Okay. Either either one. I'm not fussed. Yeah, they really have that much trouble with that, though. So I'm, I'm more inclined for the prison. All right. Okay. So, again, congratulations, Toys for Bob, for winning that award. <laughs> and then we're going to our last category. Silent Hill, racking up the dishonorable mention. Yeah. <laughs> our final category, the character... With the best fashion sense. Uh, and we have for nominees Callie from Style Savvy, uh, Dracula from Rondo of Blood, Rika from Fantasy Star 4, Flint, uh, aka Lucas's dad from Mother 3, Naga Rider from Indivisible, Link from Hyrule Warriors, Age of Calamity, uh, and Hero from Busta Groove. For me, it's gonna be, well, no, he's Dracula. <laughs> it's gonna be Dracula, you said? Yeah. Callie and Link kind of feel like Gene because they can change the clothes to whatever you want. They don't well, actually. That's part of the reason why own... they have the. Yeah. <laughs> I guess so. But so you basically, what you want is basically gonna be there. Look, whereas Dracula stands tall with his fashion sense for eons. <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, I put in Dracula because 
he does look so cool in like the Rondo of Blood Symphony of Night style. Like mm. he just he man, he has this huge fucking cape. He just he I don't know, man. He just looks great. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's really rocking that style. Yeah. Flint is a classic cowboy kind of western look, which is Well, cool. the reason why I put Flint is cuz he's a cowboy in a game with no cowboy. Very true. He he's an icon. Style. Yeah. <laughs> Like, nobody else has a cowboy hat. I'm pretty sure that whole game. Very good point. Yeah. And Hero, he's literally, like, it's part of his song that he's the. He has uh, fashion sense and he goes out to the club every day. It is literally part of his song he, mm-hmm. where everybody wants he's to a, steal his. He's a disco uh, man. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> steal his look and what, be him, basically. So that makes sense. He's That's on a good the cover of the game. game. Um, yeah. I, and he's not I even mean, the main character. Me, I, I feel like I have to give it to Callie. I mean, it's style savvy. I mean, it makes sense, yeah. But, I don't know. I, <laughs> I don't want to give it to her just because it's yeah. style savvy. But yeah, it's like... It's she's like also, like, <laughs> known for being the, the most fashionable yeah. like, in the she town. Yeah, in the whole town. Everybody knows her. Just... I mean, she does ask you for advice a lot, but, I mean, you're also known as... She's not confident. She asks for too much advice. She yeah. can't dress herself. Yeah. She, that means she has confidence. no fashion sense. You need more confidence like Dracula and Flint. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Gotta be confident like Rika, where it's like a unitard everywhere. <laughs> Rika's really cool. Yeah, she's uh, the superior race. <laughs> Sort of thing. There's a Newman. She is. Better of a human. She's like a cat girl. Yeah. Um, Naga Rider, also. Very cool dude. He's got that cool fucking scarf. Yeah. The gold mm. armor. Yeah. Really. He's, he's just a badass superhero. He is a badass superhero in a game where it's weird to be a badass superhero. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. That was going to be a tough one. And then Link. I mean, yeah, Link. I mean, you can, you can change his clothes. He's got all the Breath of the Wild outfits. Yeah, thing. I do like the Breath of the Wild style better than. Do I? <laughs> what? I don't know. Like, I don't know if I prefer a traditional Link with the green tunic and everything, or Breath of the Wild. I'm leaning more towards Breath of the Wild because with the green tunic, you always get different color tunics too. But. This is Hyrule Warrior, so you get all sorts of clothing. I like the Sheikah uh, garb. Yeah, outfit. the Sheikah garb is really good. Among my favorite. Mm-hmm. Sounds like you want to give it to who? I'm still sticking with Dracula. I want to give Flint second place, though. <laughs> you convinced me. All right, uh, Dracula it is. Brandon, no objections? <laughs> uh, I don't agree with it, but I was I was leaning more towards either Link or Flint. Hmm. Now we got Flint on the table, huh? That's why I wanted to give it to the second place. <laughs> okay, we can give it to Flint. Yeah, cowboy shit. <laughs> Why not? He's a cowboy in a in a world without cowboys. Yeah, <laughs> you gotta respect it. Also, I congratulations Nintendo again for winning another. Of award. course, <laughs> Nintendo always on top. <laughs> All right, second place. Second place. Dracula. <laughs> yeah, well, for me. Uh, Link or Dracula, I don't really care. Here we go. What about Hero? It's this whole style. Hero? Yeah, maybe Hero. Hero's really cool. Hero's got dance moves. He has style. He has good fashion sense and he has dance moves. Good fashion sense, but is it a, it's more of a traditional disco fashion sense he rather than his pompadour, own distinct... Though. I think the pompadour says something. Pompadour, Pompadour says a lot. He's mixing Japanese culture with disco. That's a. Mm. 
All oh, right, I'm leaning Dracula. towards Dracula. Yeah. <laughs> Here we go. Konami getting another win. <laughs> you hate to see it. Or do you love to see it? Uh, I love to see it. <laughs> do you love to see it? Konami sucks my ass now. Well, Castlevania doesn't, so. <laughs> well, man. They do now, but they didn't. games, yeah, but. Um, okay. As Who's next? Who's next? Um, I don't know. Uh, Link, Cali, Hero. One of those three. Noah. I. Hmm. I guess Link because he can fucking rock even the uh, women's outfits. <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> That's actually a decent point. You can. You can pull off a lot of looks. Yeah, give it to Link, Link is uh, very capable of many things. Uh, uh, Except talking. It, yeah, it's yeah. the only thing he's not <laughs> capable of. Alright. I'm kind of... I'm kind of... Um flip-flopping maybe like, I just convinced myself maybe to push him to number one because of that <laughs> but nah I'm fine with that oh, are you I trying to take it away from Flint Jesus I he's worked I mean, so hard how many for that people goal. do you know that can do that though <laughs> how many people are as confident as Flint be real nobody mm, yeah <laughs> Okay. I was just throwing it out there. We don't actually have to. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm content with third place for Link. Link getting the bronze. Okay, well, Nintendo. It was also. a shitty game. Nintendo Fuck still gets calamity. Nintendo still gets a gets another award though. Um, takes home another trophy. Take home the bronze. Taking home the bronze. And uh, the Who Cares award. Um... Give it up for Cali. Who cares? Yeah. Literally, yeah. your whole life is fashion. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If now, if the Good character point. was the with the best fashion sense was you from Style Savvy, then then I would definitely be. That would be number one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> because I have the best fashion sense. I dress everybody in that game. I make them look good. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. You know, Cali. Cali's Cali garbage. Is. Yeah. Sophie. Yeah. Sophie. Or is it Sophia or Sophie? I can't remember. It's Sophie. Sophia. She has better fucking fashion sense than Callie. <laughs> well, they all have shit fashion sense. You take over that whole town. Yeah. <laughs> it's just your yeah. fashion sense. You. It's That's you. how if bad they you, are. That's what I'm saying. If it was you from Style Savvy or main character or whoever you yeah. want to put it, that is number one. Because they turn that whole town into nothing but fashion. Uh, and then Dishonorable Mention, the person probably with the worst fashion sense, I guess, of uh, this. Um, I guess Rika. She has a cool cape, but she wears, like, a leotard. <laughs> What's wrong with a leotard? <laughs> God. It's a black leotard, I don't know. Well, we can't Most put not. Hero. We can't put Hero. I don't want to put Naga Rider with his cool fucking golden armor. Well, apparently he wasn't cool enough to get third place. He's not that cool. <laughs> he's so he's cool. Not... <laughs> he's not the worst of the bunch. I'm gonna give it to Rika. I'm sorry, the the leotard. You hate cat girls. I, I never thought I'd see girls, the day. But... Never thought I'd see the day. Brandon hates <laughs> cat girls. Wow, we've made history today. We have made history today. And so has all. So have all these games. Yeah. yeah. So of all these games, congratulations to the winners. Uh, the Sword Beam from Zelda 2. Huey from Haunting Ground. Uh, Fiona's Jiggle Physics from Haunting Ground. Uh, <laughs> Kelly and her Baby Fish from Busted Groove. Porky and Facade from Mother 3. The Infinite Stunlock on the bosses in John Wick. The Vault Dweller from Fallout. Yasha from Asura's Wrath. The Universe in Star Control 2. And Flint, the best cowboy that has ever he's rooting he's tooting and, and god damn it he's shooting most of, congratulations to the universe most importantly <laughs> he's kind 
He's the kindest cowboy you'll ever meet, too. So, congratulations to all the winners. And uh, I just want to say a uh, quick shout-out to the best game we played, according to the list. And the list can't be wrong. The best game we played in 2020 was Mother 3. So give it up for Nintendo one last time Yay. for making the best game we played all year. And then Mother 3. Quick, quick, uh, quick dishonorable mention to the worst game we played this year, Fox Hunt. Yay. <laughs> Boo. Absolutely don't play that game. The Not worst even game if you love Rob Lowe. Could we uh, play a worse game in 2021? That remains to be seen. I fucking a lot hope not. laughed of yeah. Noah's childhood. I'm sure of it. I hope yeah, not. There's plenty of there's plenty of childhood left. <laughs> I'm really hoping. If we play a game better than Mother Three, we're doing good. And if we play something worse than than Fox Hunt, I don't know if I'm gonna make it to the awards for 2021. <laughs> I'll tell you that. But thank you guys for joining us. Um, thank you Noah and Ills for playing games all year with and uh, talking about it on the game club. Thank you everybody who listens. Thank you guys for watching. Go play video games. Go play Mother 3. And don't go play Fox Hunt. <laughs> Have a good night everybody. Bye.